Silver chopsticks. We've got some really interesting folks commenting today. The, the Great names. names. Silver I chopsticks. Love, love it. <laughs> That's creative. fun. On um, not sun-dried tomatoes. Yes. Okay. I find this recipe so wonderful and I do want to try it, but why do so many recommend a vinegar bath before storing them in olive oil? Is this method safe without the vinegar? If so, I'd prefer it over using vinegar as I don't want to alter the taste of the tomatoes. Okay, so here is the concern. There is a concern that botulism can live in fresh vegetables that have been submerged in olive oil. So there's long-standing old-fashioned preservation techniques where you take something, say, like a pesto, mm -hmm. something fresh, and you just coat it with olive oil and stick it on your shelf and preserve it. And amazingly enough, the flavors of those things actually preserve really oh, well. Wonderfully well. The problem with it, though, is that botulism spores can live in a high moisture content. And of course, they thrive, and that's where they get dangerous, is in a oxygen-free type of setting, mm -hmm. like a liquid submerged in olive oil, covered in olive oil. So I actually don't know if there's ever been any sickness cases found for people getting sick in that scenario, but the U.S. government says that it is not safe because of this concern for botulism mm -hmm. in them. Now, where there gets to be a confusion is that people maybe overgeneralize that you just can't store anything in olive oil then. Right. But a sun-dried tomato that is completely dried has no moisture in it. The botulism cannot live, it cannot grow in that environment. So therefore you can take a completely dried tomato or tomato slice and store it in olive oil and have it still be safe from botulism. So you do not need to wash your tomatoes in vinegar in order to safely store them as long as they are completely dry, there's no moisture left in them. People are doing that as an extra layer of safety against botulism. There's really no evidence that just rinsing a vegetable of any sort in vinegar would protect from botulism at all. So it's kind of a misguided approach anyways, in my opinion, but um, absolutely not necessary when you're dealing with something that is completely dry and there's no moisture in it. So I guess I, to summarize a little bit, this is one of those topics where there is a lot of, you're talking hundreds, if not thousands of years of historical use. Mm -hmm. And yet we have some data that contradicts that. Yeah. And so you really just need to study it and, and do what you feel comfortable with. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But this storing your dry, the dried tomatoes right. in olive oil is absolutely safe. Yeah. So. Yeah, as long as they're totally dry. 